Hello, it is the morning of top surgery. I've taken out my metal ears and put in acrylics. Um, I have a anti-nausea patch on this side. Can you... I have an anti-nausea patch on this side. Um, I'm ready to go. I have a, uh, like one more hour and then I hop in the car and I go to the surgery. I had to stop eating at um, midnight last night, so I had like cheese and crackers uh, and some gummies after dinner before I went to bed. Um, and I woke up at like 6 to drink a Sprite because <laughs> I can have clear liquids up until 7 a.m. Um, and then I had to stop drinking at 7, but I did have like an entire bottle of Sprite, which is like 200 calories. So that's better than, you know, just water. Um, but yeah, this will probably be the last little video before I go off for surgery. Hi, I'm Ashton. Uh, this is day two. I do not remember anything from last night while I was coming home, but it's about one in the afternoon, the day after surgery. So it is Sunday. Um, I've had a few naps. I took like three cough drops. Uh, and this thing, this nausea patch works wonders. I haven't had any problems eating. Um, it's great. I do have to take a lot of pills, but mm -hmm. it'll be so it'll be so worth it. Um, I am in a lot of pain, talking and breathing hurt. Um, it, I feel like it wouldn't be all that bad if the compression binder wasn't so tight. Here's the binder on my chest. It hurts my ribs quite a bit, but that's how it is. I have marker here. I have I had marker all over my chest um, during the pre-op, but. I have a flat chest now, and now I just need to wait and recover. It's the hardest part. Hello, it is about 5.30, three days post-op, um, and I'm I'm doing okay. I had a poop this morning, which I hadn't done in like four days, um, so thank goodness for that, because painkillers really constipated me. Um, I had like three different types of lacti laxative, but it's all better now, my stomach feels so much better. Um, and just getting that pressure out of my body feels really good. I am recovering and I am getting there, but it still does hurt a lot, especially around my ribs. Um, I feel like my nipples and the incisions themselves are pretty much numb. This is about as far as I can raise my arm. But that's all bruise, not that. That's pen from when they were marking off what they are gonna do. But all of that is like bruise and it's excruciating. Um, because the binder squishes it up so much. And then this side is also bruised, just not as badly. You can't really see it. Um, there is bruising under the binder too, but that's what the binder's for, to keep the swelling down. Um, I'm supposed to wear the binder as long as I possibly can. I'll show you what it looks like from. These two pads stick out to collect things, to collect anything that runs over the drains. I have, um, drains on the sides. They aren't the kind that you normally see with bulbs. Um, God, this hurts. But they're okay. I have a little bit of dried blood there, I guess. Um, that's probably not good. It's fine. I'll clean it later. Um, since it is the third day, I do get to shower tonight. But um, even in this thick layer of binder, I'm flatter than I've ever been. So that's pretty cool. There is some like sticky residue left that hopefully I'll be able to get off when I do manage to shower tonight. Um, changing the nipple dressings is probably the hardest part because getting this binder off um, and not letting the drain strip and trying to change the nipple dressings um, before the drains drip and then getting the drain pads back on to put everything back, it's a struggle. It really is. And this, this is probably the most painful part right now. Like I really can't use this arm for much at all. Um, I've been told by the people at my office that three to f that days three to five are the worst ones, swelling-wise. My throat feels a lot better. Um, I don't think the anesthesia tube really hurt my throat all that much. It feels a lot better now. Um, most of the pain is concentrated here and in the drain sites. Um, my nipples are still like completely numb, but they are getting lighter, which is not like white light, but like pink or more alive looking, so that's good. I still can't use my arms for much at all. 
Um, I am using bendy straws to drink everything. <laughs> but so far, neither of the drains have gotten clogged. Um, neither of them have, like, been torn out or anything, which I was worried about, even though I know I shouldn't have been. Uh, my appetite's come back. The first few days, I wasn't all that hungry after anesthesia, but I can eat fairly normally now. I feel like I do have, like, less of an appetite, but it's not ridiculous. Putting clothes on is very difficult. Um, I go back to school in, like, a bit over two weeks, I think. Maybe under two weeks, oh god. This is my boyfriend's jacket, so that's why I'm wearing it so much. I got to see him the day after surgery in the morning, so, and I do remember it, but not vividly. Um, another friend, another friend came over today in the afternoon um, just to sit around and talk with me for a while, which was really nice distraction from the pain. Um, yesterday I walked down the street, which was very, very painful. Pretty much every movement hurts, especially breathing and talking, so this is like not the most pleasant thing right now. But um, I'm getting there. I have some really cool pants. You wanna see? These are my recovery pants. They're very, very colorful, like me. So that's fun. Um, I managed to put take the acrylics out of my ear and put steel back in. Um, I haven't put in any of the other piercings just because it's higher on my ear and they're not gonna close up. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not worried about it. So yeah, draining is going all right. Healing is okay. Things are bruised, things are sore, things are swelling. But that's normal, and that's just what I have to deal with. Um, really thank you all, like, so much for all your well wishes on Instagram and Twitter and even just my channel. It's really cool, and I appreciate all of you guys so much. Um, I don't want this to get sappy. I'm literally in so much pain. Um, I did take off the anti-nausea patch earlier this afternoon. It wasn't irritating or anything, um, but I didn't have any extreme nausea over the course of these three days, so it did work, um, unless I just don't have that reaction to anesthesia, which I don't know. I'm cutting it out, but um, I am taking like five minute breathing breaks between my my phrases, because really talking with this, this binder on it is exhausting. It's meant to, you know, stop swelling, but when your skin is naturally swelling, it's gonna hurt. But I'm okay, it's fine. It'll be worth it. Um, I got to see the results, no, not the results entirely, but I got to see 24 hours in my nipples and 48 hours in, and again tonight I will. Um, and the placement of my nipples looks great, like I couldn't be happier. I'll put a picture up here. Um, there was a picture on my Instagram story, but I think it's expired now. Also, Christmas is like really soon, and I just haven't been thinking about it at all because it's normally like a big celebrity thing for my family, but I haven't really been that involved, mainly because I am in so much pain. The scar tape doesn't come off until my post-op visit. I'll probably have this video and then from day four to the post-op and then an entire visit on the post-op on its own, depending on what it's like. But yeah, my mom told me when the doctors took me out, they were like, he looks great. I think he's gonna be really happy with it. And so far I, I really am, so that's good. My boyfriend brought me some light reading for my recovery. Um, I'm so in love with that boy, he's amazing. Uh, my videos are probably not gonna be consistent for a while, but I am getting more mobile. I can do more things by myself, and hopefully that will just increase as time goes on. I've been drinking a lot of water. I've been getting up in the middle of the night like three times to pee. <laughs> Um, but that's a good thing. It means I'm getting water through. Um, so yeah, essentially I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm glad I did it, and I can't wait f to be fully recovered. <coughs> oh god. I got dust in my throat, and I forgot how much coughing hurts. I'm just really glad I haven't sneezed yet, because I don't want to experience that pain. My mom's told me some pretty amusing stories of what I was like when I came out of anesthesia. So if you want to hear those, um, tell me, because I feel like it would be a short video, but it would still be funny. I'm going to go eat dinner soon. Hopefully I can keep it down um, now that the nausea patch is gone. And then I'm going to shower, change my nipple dressings, and get to bed. I've been trying to go to sleep early, but then I wake up early. Um, so maybe I'll just like read for a longer period of time. Um, I also haven't taken any pain meds today. I took a Tylenol, um, but like... Tylenol isn't as intense of a painkiller as the ones that they prescribed me. So I'd say that's an improvement, especially since I'm in about the same amount of pain that I would be 
um, if I took a full painkiller yesterday. So the pain is getting better, but it may, it may spike again before things really do start calming down. I don't know. Yeah, talking is hurting. I gotta eat dinner soon, so I'm gonna go now. This has been days one through three of top surgery. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I just took that shower. Um, it felt good to be under the warm water, but it did sting a little bit, and it feels weird having the drains uncovered. They look like little noodles. Um, quite bruised. Uh, there's a big, like, orangey bruise down here. We know about this bruise. Um, there's, like, irritation around the nipples from the binder, I'm assuming, or maybe from the adhesive they were using for the nipple dressings, but overall it was, it was good. It was fairly easy. My mom helped me wash my hair. I'm just gonna read or edit for a couple hours and then go to bed. So that's all for day three. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope that you are not in as much pain as I am, and I'll talk to you later, maybe.